Hello, my beautiful people of the world, the kings and queens. God bless you. I welcome you all into this wonderful day that the Lord has made for us. I pray may your coming not be in vain. Thank you once again for turning in to come and listen and show love to the Word of God. We really appreciate and I pray for someone today may God who make a way when there is no way be your effort in this season for you to be around this message again. God bless you. It's a beautiful day. And I celebrate the name of the Lord upon everyone's life. May this new week be a week of testimony, favor upon you and your heart soul. God bless you. Today I'm here to ask a question or just to know about the things that is going on in the world. About the people that is committing crime or what is happening to people's life. Because when you come across some issue, when you find people that commit a crime, when you ask them, why make you, what make you to commit this crime? They will say, now they will walk. A woman that will went for adultery, fornicating, when you ask her, she will say, now they will walk. A man who went to fall, still on that man property, when you ask him, he will say, now they will walk. So I'm here to ask a message, do you really think this devil work or is from their mindset? It's what they think and it's what they wish yourself to do or is devil that really cause it? That's why I'm here again because I did not really know how the devil operates in their life which every day is devil is devil. I wish I'm the one that called devil because of some crisis crime that is happening, I could have resigned, I could have renounced myself not to be the devil because everything is the devil work. So I don't want to go far because we have a wonderful guest in our midst who want to throw light to this message tonight. He's a great man of God. Please, as he's coming, join me to celebrate him. Clap for him, let him give us a message and let him explain why, if it is the devil or it's your mindset. God bless you as you come to the altar. Every sin starts with a thought. Every sin starts with a thought. The word of God makes clear to us in the book of Mark chapter 7 verse 20 to verse 23. We are told there, it says, that which cometh out of a man is that which defileth the man. And what are they? He said, because from within out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Adulteries, fornications, murders, and what else? Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, and all these evil things come from within and they defile the man. So if you are going to escape the defilement, you must attend to the source. The source is the thought. You see, the truth is that there are many people today who just blame Satan for everything. Why did you slap your wife? Satan made me slap her. Why did you steal that thing? It was just the devil. But hear this and hear it very well. Sin cannot be committed without personal cooperation. And that personal cooperation starts with your internal consideration. As you settle down and begin to think and allow the thoughts of evil to dwell in your heart, you open the door for corruption. Is somebody getting what God is saying? So for you to defend yourself from the corruption that we find defiling, you and I must ensure that we attack the thought at the root. Before there can be an act, there will be a thought. Before there will be a habit, there will be an act. So what builds the act is the thought. What builds the habit is the act. If you want to stop the habit, attack the thought. 
when you kill the root you kill the tree so if you want to win the battle against sin understand the necessity of dealing with the thoughts those evil thoughts that seep their way into your mind those satanic suggestions don't give excuses a drunk man goes and then slaps his wife and says, no it wasn't my fault it's because i was drinking but you and i both know that between the drinking bar and his house he met many people that he had the opportunity to slap he didn't slap any one of them the drink only brought out what has been inside his mind since inside his mind he has been thinking the way this woman has been talking i must slap her i must slap her and then he took the drink and suddenly the drink gave motion to what he was thinking already is somebody getting it now attack the thought that's why the bible says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the, the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity what every thought satan may introduce thoughts but it is you that accommodates them can i think inside the bird can fly over your head you may not stop it but you can stop it from being from building a nest on your head so that a thought comes it may be introduced by the devil but it is you that chooses whether to accommodate it or not so my wonderful people that was the message this is where we draw the conclusion god bless you help me to be praying for this man because the way he explained this message is very very fantastic and lovely pray that may god empower him more and more so this is the message how do you think about it do you really think everything that devil work or we use our hand so they invite the devil they come our heart because i feel and i think now we think we think our heart to do now we they do everything not the devil god bless you once again i really appreciate all your love and your support in this channel the way you are turning up i pray may god turn everything around in your asshole for good thanks so much all the support supporter the love you that is watching sharing joining the membership of this channel super chatting i really appreciate and i pray may god reward you for being there for me you will never regret and you will never labor in vain in jesus name and please do that the same channel for the first time do us a favor by sharing subscribe to this channel be a part of this wonderful race that we are taking let's take it together so that we'll celebrate in honor of God with this ministry. God bless you. You will see us again. Do not forget, I love you, but Christ loves you most. I leave you with peace. According to John 14, verse 27. Peace. I live with you.